hi there pronunciation pronunciation before starting the video let me tell you one thing it's not a big deal pronunciation is not rocket science don't take it uh, as if it is like rocket science or any bypass surgery you are doing what i have found out is students are i mean my my students and most of the students are uh, just uh, what i can say like fascinated they are just uh, obsessed with pronunciation they just everyone tells me i mean my pronunciation is not right my pronunciation is not right this i call ocd obsessive compulsive disorder people have gone insane about pronunciation and they are making a big deal out of it it's not that it's a simple language come on guys why are you making a big deal in this video i'm going to tell you the simple ways of improving your pronunciation very simple ways and i'm not going to give any difficult methods the reason is i know that you will watch my video but if the method is very difficult to implement you are not going to do that simple method doable methods easy methods and you will not feel bored or tortured as if you are doing some study for upsc exam or something like this simple method we are going to learn come on stick with me and develop your pronunciation in a better way but psychology plays a very important role that is what i'm going to tell you let's start So here we go as i said friends psychology is very crucial here everywhere in all my videos i tell that so the psychology behind pronunciation is first point is fear of wrong pronunciation we always have as i said the fear if i pronounce a word wrong what will happen sky is not going to fall so don't make it as a question of life and death it's a simple come on so that fear of wrong pronunciation give it up if you make any wrong pronunciation that's fine it doesn't tell anything about your personality or your success or failure or your education qualification it's a language while while pronouncing in, in hindi or any other language we make mistakes same thing here also this does not mean that make mistakes if a mistake happens it's fine don't take it as if it's a big insult for you don't take it in that way second thing is avoid conscious pronunciation like i have seen people while speaking they speak so consciously and try to pronounce each and every word properly it looks like something which is artificial something which is like textbook and people can figure out that you are trying to speak you are not required to try to speak you have to just speak up <laughs> look at me like right now i am not trying to force and try and pronounce each and every word properly i am just opening up and speaking up do that language is very unconscious process don't try to make it very conscious don't try to pronounce a word conscious don't use jargons while speaking this happens because we try to impress people by using some difficult words and difficult words are difficult to pronounce you are not required to collect all the words hardly 5 to 10% words not even 10 5% words are sufficient these words have difficult pronunciation or you should know the pronunciation of these words i'm going to show you with a demonstration let us move forward next point is use two senses method to develop your pronunciation two senses ears and your eyes i will show you about this. i will tell you the method select a book into two format that which is available in two formats audio book plus paperback book so here i'm going to give a demonstration audio book and paperback book you have to get this book in two formats books are available in audio book format audio books are available in different app, uh, apps i mean you can go and take it from there like audible is there or storytel is there you can go with them it depends on you now next is here we go or read it loudly this is the first step take the physical book the physical book and read the physical book out loudly out loudly this is the first step note the new words okay a new word may appear there so note down the new word what what to note down its meaning and the pronunciation of the word you can't note down the pronunciation you have to listen the pronunciation using google dictionary or digital dictionary is this clear or the next step is very crucial now use the audio plus transcript use that audio plus transcript i told you take the book in front of you and now open the app the same app okay that audio book is there and now play the uh, audio book and now the book is there now you are using two senses fun fun starts you understand the pronunciation you understand the the speed you understand the vocabulary used it's a magnificent way to develop your pronunciation when you are listening the words it really works like a charm now let me give you this example let me move aside hope you can see otherwise i will tell my uh, editor to make a big copy of this so what is the first step reading loudly if you read this loudly you will understand that most of the words are simple what i'm trying to tell is do not do not take anything which is difficult don't take it should be simple 
every word is simple here but if you come down uh, I, I was reading it for you i will show you how to read it for example uh here we go okay i'll read from here okay in this book you will learn how a simple belief about yourself dash that is a belief we discovered in our research guides a large part of your life in fact it permeates every part of your life I read all these things before. Before shooting this video, I found out this word to be a new word. As I said before, out of this, for example, these are 50 words. For example, one word is new and that is uh, the pronunciation you should know. You don't take any book which is having a lot of difficult words. Uh, uh, don't do that. That is not required. We are not required to get all the difficult words. Okay, which is this book? This book is Mindset. Carol Dweck's book it is. Uh, good language. Simple language, very few new words are there, but if you feel like, sir, there are too many new words, don't take this book. Take a easier book, which is available in audiobook format. Fine. So audio plus transcript you are doing. Read loudly, just now I showed. After that, now plug in the earphones and listen the audio and the transcript. This word, what, what the permeates, will be pronounced there by the speaker. Permeates, now it clicks, permeates. Now after that, the next step is this. This is the last step. Now stop, close the book, physical book. Now only audiobook is there with you in your mobile, in your app. Now listen the same audiobook again and again. Yeah, two to three times. Two to three times. What I'm saying, the, I, I just showed you the introduction. You have to complete introduction, chapter by chapter. Okay, I finish introduction, then listen the audio. Then second chapter, then listen the audio. Then third chapter. Once you finish the book, the last step is stop the book, close the book and play the audio. And while walking, while jogging, listen to audio, the same words will be repeated again and again. But the last step is very important. Speaking, if you don't speak, all these things are useless. No use. You have to speak up. Because then you will use those words actually. They will come out of your mouth. Because speaking is action and speaking is not theory. Speaking is speaking. Speaking is doing it. It's not like just doing all these methods and not speaking useless. So come on guys, go and start practicing. It's a very easy method. Take care. Bye-bye.